We all have our reasons for wanting to learn a 3D software, and of course you will want to pick the best one. For me, it was Blender, so I'm going to share with you 8 reasons why Blender might be the best option for you. So let's get started. Accessibility Perhaps the top reason to use Blender is the fact that it's available to everyone. It's completely free to download and use. I know you saw this point coming a billion miles away, but I don't just mean free to download. Most software of this caliber like 3ds Max and ZBrush have a monthly subscription and some of them has an educational version that you can easily get, but they often have limitations and you can't use them for commercials. But Blender doesn't. This is one of Blender main draws for both hobbyists and pros alike. Unlike other software, Blender is licensed under the General Public License or GPL, which means you can download it, modify it and use it for commercial purposes, no string attached. Also it's supported by all the major operation systems, Windows, macOS and Linux. Blender is also open source and open source means its code is publicly accessible. For this reason, this often results in bug fixes, new features and usability improvements happening quicker than with other non-open source software. Community Blender has the biggest and most helpful community. The Blender.org website and several of its subdomains have received a combined 23 million unique visitors that is 35% increase from last year, approaching 2 million visitors per month. Blender has a large social media following as well with over 1 million YouTube subscribers. The amount of subscribers has drastically increased in the past few years and Blender now has a thriving help community. And that's extremely useful to learning the software as well as overcoming the inevitable bugs. For some software, the community is either very small and don't have the answers to even basic questions or were actively hostile to anyone asking for help. I mean yes you should google your problem first, but situations will always arise where you're going to need an outside help. A negative community can wear on the user and make them search for other software. Speed of development And because Blender is open source and has a thriving community, it's developed so fast compared to other 3D software. Advanced users employ the Blender API for Python scripting to customize the application and write specialized tools. Often these are included in the Blender future releases. Just the past year Blender has 4 versions released, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and the latest 3.4 Blender version and each of those came with amazing new tools, features and bug fixes, making the software better and better each time. The Blender community also shares amazing add-ons on the Blender market website and these add-ons usually solve some of the software problems or bugs entirely add new features or facilitate the process of 3D creation by having libraries of models and shaders to speed up your workflow. Education Resources Luckily, Blender has plenty of resources that you can learn from. There are hundreds of high quality tutorials, several forms you can ask questions on, and loads of pre-made assets like models, rigs, effects and scripts that you can get if you're trying to smash something together really quickly and you need it to look great without having to learn every step of the process. You also have amazing high quality paid courses to achieve astonishing results in specific 3D creation fields in the fastest time possible. All in one. Blender supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline from modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, motion tracking, and even video editing. Blender might just be the jack of all trades, master of none, but oftentimes better than the master of one. Blender is truly versatile and having multiple functionalities like that allow you to create entire models, scenes, and even short animations just by using it. Now make sure to tell me in the comments why do you think that Blender is a great 3D software and why did you choose to use it if you happen to be a Blender user. And if you're not, make sure to tell me the reasons that are stopping you from using this software. Now all that's left to me to say is thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one and goodbye.